Ratchet and Clank, which is a kind of origin story uh, animation based on what's referred to in the thing as a platforming video game series of the same name. I mean, <laughs> have you not played it? Have you? Uh, no, have you? No. No. Would you like to play it? Not really. Okay. Okay, fine. So, um, I'm glad we had that conversation. Let's, let's set the scene. So here is the scene in which Ratchet meets Clank. Here we go. No vector shell damage. Sister board appears to be intact. Ah! I must get to Alero City. Ah! They are in danger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, who's in danger? An army is coming. I must warn them. Uh, hang on. Slow down. You've been in a crash. What do you say we get you back to my garage? I'll run a diagnostic and have you fixed up in no time. Thank you. I appreciate the assistance. It's no problem. So, what do I call you? I suppose my proper designation is Warbot Defect B5429. <sighs> Maybe I'll just call you Clank. So that's what you're going to call him. You're going to call him Clank. So here's, a, here's, the, the, here's the problem with the film. Um, in the, the very best case scenario, uh, you could say that it was that there are things in it that may be slightly colourfully visually distracting for younger members of the audience. My main problem with it was first, I mean, it has a, a fairly astonishing uh, voice cast, which includes uh, so we've got uh, Paul Giamatti, John Goodman, Rosario Dawson, Sly Stallone. I mean, you know, big names. And it's put together in a way which suggests that they have thought to some extent about the visuals. But I just spent the entire movie going, OK, so the design looks like The Incredibles meets robots and I really want the Iron Giant to turn up and Nefarious looks like Mekon and Captain Quark looks like Buzz Lightyear and the baddie is a bit like Dr. Evil and Clank talks like C-3PO and they use the... There's a bit when they play the Blue Danube and that's a gag about 2001. And all I could think of all the way through was all this is doing is reminding me of all the other films that it isn't that I would rather be watching. And so I did find myself doing that thing about clock watching, just wondering how long this was going to go on for and how soon it was going to be over. It's not, it's not any good. It's not absolutely terrible. There are certain things in the, in the sort of, in the visual design that, as I said, I mean, do you remember that, pro, that film Robots? So I've lost yes. you. I've bored you, haven't I? No, you you're off somewhere else. I'm just checking the Captain America texts that are okay. uh, that are coming in. Yes, I do remember robots. So there were, you know, there are um, there. Were, one of the things I remember about robots was that I loved the way it looked. And in the case of this, I didn't love the way it looked, but I kind of trying to trying to find something positive. Well, there are occasional moments when, but for most of the time, it was just a kind of really this you got that from that film and that from that film and that from that thing and that from that like you know i understand that it comes from a, an origin thing which takes about way but i found almost nothing to engage me at all and the very best i can say is that it is possible that younger audiences will stay awake <laughs>